My name is Leniza, and I'm an unusual university professor working in the field of speech therapy in the south of Brazil. I work with the older adult population, especially with those who survive stroke and live with aphasia, which is a condition that affects language. The particularity about my work is that I practice clowning, and my clown name is Edivirgis. Not everybody understands why I work with clowning. You see, as a speech therapist, my area of greatest interest is human communication. And I believe that the ability to communicate is enormously favored by the contact with play and art. In 2012, I went on a clown retreat and gained the courage to dive into playfulness through clowning and to allow myself this adventure, also inside the academic world. Since then, much happened. What gave me the courage to start walking this path was a group of people with aphasia who asked me in the presence of my undergraduate students, can we practice theater together? I return the question, would you like to discover the world of clowning? And I heard a resounding yes. This was the validation I needed to integrate the speech therapist with the artist. So we created a clowning group called Palhafazia in the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul. In 2018, I spent a year as a fellow in the Global Brain Health Institute, one of Atlantic Institute's programs, where this innovative work on therapeutic clowning with older adults was given recognition and support. Today I'm a lifelong fellow for equity in brain health supported by the Atlantic Institute and I am conducting a study on the effects of therapeutic clowning with older adults who live with aphasia. Eu tinha tudo certinho, tudo é, ah, tinha que ser da hora, tem as coisas tinha que ser certinho para tudo, que eu não, não conseguia ficar, não ficar bravo quando estava, quando as coisas estavam errado e eu ficava. Aí depois foi quando me deu o. Yeah. Aí torne, fiz outras coisas, como é que eu. Aí eu comecei, fui fazer, fiz o um fono, tá? aí depois eu fui fazer pai, o. A minha, O pai, aí, aí depois veio para cá para fazer os palhaços. Tá? Foi quando aí eu consegui começar a fazer os palhaços brincando com todo mundo, aí, aí ficou assim uma coisa boa para todo mundo, aí cada vez melhor. Como é que é o nome do seu palhaço? Eu sou Nenê ainda. Ah, hoje é o que eu tinha e você sempre agora Nenê. E como é que é o Nenê? Nenê é um cara brincando, só brincando com a, a, 
composed mainly by people living with aphasia and undergraduate students in the arts and health areas at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul. Along the years, I continued as a clown apprentice and we had many clown professionals give us clowning workshops. We practiced once a week in the university, theater and cultural environments. We even performed small clowning presentations. Living with aphasia often experience anxiety and frustration when speaking with others. Social isolation and the stigma they face in a society that doesn't accept diverse communication means that people with aphasia often deal with depression. In the context of palafasia, Participants are immersed in a social environment in which speaking differently is not at all considered a problem. In fact, clowns love imperfection and they love to be different. Communication in palafasia is not focused on speech nor in conventional language. Through clowning, our participants experience fun and gain positive attention just by the use of an expressive look, by using their, their face to comment, without speech, what they feel or think. In this context, we all learn that our bodies and gestures are very powerful communication tools and that our voice can make funny sounds and express emotions. 
In the world of the clowns, we can break rules, not needing to care so much about politeness, allowing space for imagination and creativity in communication. And what happens to undergraduate students and the health professionals in Palafazia? We learn to accept vulnerability and we learn that communication is more essential than speech and language skills. We also learn that we are all different and equal. Laughter and exposure to ridicule naturally creates horizontal relationships. But you must be wondering what happened to us when the pandemic arrived. When the university declared the suspension of activities because of the pandemic, we interrupted immediately our clowning meetings at the Casa de Cultura Mario Quintana. At that time, we were living a period full of discoveries in the different spaces of this beautiful cultural center. Our group was growing with participants and students who were bubbling with energy and desire to change the world. In the week before the suspension of activities, we already knew about the arrival of the coronavirus. We met at Casa de Cultura Mario Quintana and we said goodbye temporarily, without knowing when we would be back. I took all the clown costumes home. I remember the weird feeling that it couldn't be true that a virus was interrupting our encounters. We wanted to believe that in one or two months, Palafazia would return to the cultural center. But time went by and each week we realized that it would take longer and longer. My colleague Magda and I decided to create a group in WhatsApp. And even with the classes suspended, we held virtual meetings with the undergraduate students who would volunteer to think together on how to proceed in offering support to our participants. We had great concerns for the lives of some of the participants of Palafazia. Our undergraduate students offered regular calls to all of them. Some were very afraid and suffered from anxiety. Others seemed not to be afraid, but they were also dangerously not wanting to change their routines. It was a very difficult time, but also a time for reinvention, solidarity, and for the development of collaborations and a network of support. The challenges made us reach out for other professors and students which were working in the areas of mental health, dance, and storytelling. So we created a remote program called Playful Living. And we were awarded with a solidarity grant by the Atlantic Institute. This gave us the opportunity to provide tablets and internet services, not only for our participants, but for new participants who were also in need of social connection. In two years, we gained experience in digital inclusion and playing remotely. Clowning was always an important part of the Playful Living program and it was much missed by the participants who used to clown in person with us in Casa de Cultura Mario Quintana. So now that we have enough experience online and we are focusing back to clowning, we are starting a new phase of the program. As soon as there was enough safety, we decided to give our participants a surprise.
the opportunity to gain the solidarity grant once again, so we have started a pilot study on the viability and acceptability of clowning remotely with 30 people living with aphasia. This time we have three clown teachers with us, and our network of collaboration has reached the north of Brazil. So we now have Northeastern and Southern Brazilians celebrating clowning in tune. Many challenges are faced in inviting a greater number of new participants with aphasia to start learning to get together online and to open up for playfulness and clowning in a virtual environment. Although we face many challenges because of digital inclusion issues, the virtual environment does bring us new and inspiring opportunities. Geographical distances are no longer a problem. We can now guest visitors from other countries and exchange experience and fun. Here is my clown friend, Esther from the Hague University of Applied Science in the Netherlands. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Who has shared a wonderful, playful workshop with us in our Zoom room. I like to call her Esther. Although our new participants with aphasia can be shy sometimes, we have our experienced clowns with aphasia and they have been a great example of courage and hope for all the new participants entering this virtual world in such a new situation. Participants from the north of Brazil behave as if they had always practiced clown-related activities. This regional difference is probably because popular art and folklore are very playful in the northeast of Brazil. The behavior of people from the northeast in general is also considered more extroverted and social than people from the south of Brazil. In non-pandemic conditions, Carnival in Recife is a very big and popular event. Dancing is also part of social life all year round in the state of Pernambuco, 
popular artists of Recife dedicate largely to folklore parties and call themselves playful artists, artistas brincantes. Clowning remotely at home gave us the opportunity to enter the homes of our participants and also play with those family members and caregivers who accepted the invitation to this playful universe. In these cases, we see husbands, wives, children and caregivers of those participants who are institutionalized using clown noses, laughing and dancing with participants. We invite all to embrace the wisdom of imperfection. It takes courage to enter this world, but once you are there, you no longer want to leave. Muitas pessoas não sabem o que que é a poesia. Trata a gente diferente do mundo, totalmente diferente, como se tivesse alguma coisa certa ou errada. Só que não. Nós descobrimos que ser palhaço, palhaça, é repetido, é libertador. Eu posso ser eu mesmo, se ninguém me julgar, que eu estou perfeita. Não é que eu falo desse jeito, enroladinho, ai que bonitinho. Eu sou gente, gente. E esse trabalho que nós fizemos aqui, que é muito importante, a gente quer levar para os outros lá fora também. Como eu tive dificuldades, eu sei que muitas pessoas também têm essa dificuldade no caminho. E por que não ajudar, dar a mão, puxar, brincar, dar risada? Eu sei que é muito fácil. Ninguém disse para nós, como eu disse, deitei do jeito, acordei do outro, totalmente diferente. E agora, fazer o quê? Puxar minha palhaça, mimi, é mimi. Com licença, agora eu comi um pouquinho. Aquecendo as mãozinhas. Aê! 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 A